realm of arm wrestling as a competitive sport where power meets technique and determination clashes with resilience, wow. a new breed of warriors is emerging. I am the Arm Historian and I present to you Young Lions. The series that unearths the best new and young talent in the arm wrestling world. In this inaugural episode, we embark on an exhilarating journey to Croatia, a land brimming with rich history and a seeming melting pot of raw upcoming talent within the arm wrestling world. Today, we shine the spotlight on a rising star, Rino Masic. Drop a like on the video or sub to the channel for more arm wrestling content and let me know in the comments what you think of this new series. Hailing from the heart of Croatia in Gospic, a small but picturesque town, this young prodigy possesses an insatiable hunger for victory, forged through the countless hours of relentless training and a burning desire to leave an indelible mark in the world of arm wrestling. But where and how did this desire to achieve greatness in the sport of arm wrestling first rear its head within Reno? Looking back, it's safe to say Reno's immediate family played a huge role in getting the young athlete involved in arm wrestling and developing his strength. His father, Sebastian, is a tall, strong man who speaks about his own father, Reno's grandfather, having passed on his own strength within the family. Reno's father had been arm wrestling with Reno's uncle since childhood and often went undefeated at local competitions. In 2002, they decided to start the very first arm wrestling club in Croatia. And today there are up to 20 clubs throughout Croatia, confirming the sport has genuinely boomed over there during the last decade. From this vibrant scene, another powerful Croatian arm wrestler emerged. Andrija Šimić, a fast and explosive arm wrestler, did well on the tournament scene and would eventually become the young Reno's coach. As a young child, it became clear quickly that Reno had great potential for strength development and arm wrestling specifically, often beating children several years his senior. It wasn't until he was about 13 years of age, though, that he started taking arm wrestling training seriously. He had tried his hand at other sports, but found his true passion drifting towards competitive arm wrestling, citing it as being part of his heritage. One year on, at the age of 14, Rino Masic would participate in his first official arm wrestling tournament in the ZG Strong International Tournament in Zagreb. During this tournament, Reno witnessed a girl breaking her arm during one of her matches, something he described as sounding like a bullet firing. This rather unfortunate impression on the young Reno would lead him to arm wrestling at only half strength in order to prevent a potential arm break of his own. Unsurprisingly, this led to a poor result in his first tournament. From here on, Reno went to focus more on the weightlifting aspect of his training and soon found himself as a young teenager having quite a formidable bench press, squat as well as deadlift. Later he would go on to clarify that he felt he had to increase his overall strength and musculature first, whereafter he could start focusing on his hands and arms. From here Reno would start his considerable ascent within the world of competitive arm wrestling. During this time, he is said to have trained 2-3 to three hours per day and managed to attend several European and World Championships. His attendance at these tournaments was at least in part facilitated by the Croatian Olympic Committee, an organization that paid for athletes' travel and accommodations to these events. Post-Covid pandemic, Reno Masic would consistently do extremely well in the junior, youth and even senior divisions of the WAF, World and European Championships, earning several gold medals and basically sweeping or staying at speed with the field. His main weapons on the armacing table would reveal themselves to be a strong explosive press, as well as a healthy arsenal of other moves from any position, making it seem obvious the young Croatian was not only a powerhouse, but also possessed an affinity for the more technical aspects of the sport. Most recently at the 2023 European Championships, he managed to acquire gold yet again, proving once and for all that the young athlete is truly at the top of his field and category. By this time, it was also clear that the young Croatian athlete possessed a grounded and pragmatic outlook on his arm wrestling career, as well as coming over as charismatic and friendly in his public appearances. As a result, he has amassed a considerable following on several social media, including a thriving YouTube channel and Instagram profile, where he consistently posts training and match footage. By the end of July of 2023, East vs West 8 is set to take place. While early on a match was confirmed between Reno and another rising star in arm wrestling in the Georgian Bacho Saginashvili, recently it was announced Bacho would not compete at the event as he wants to prepare for the world championships. 
A new opponent for Reno was quickly found though, in the South African Terence Opperman, a match I'm personally very interested in seeing. To future and new arm wrestlers who, like himself, want to make their mark on the professional scene as one of the best to do it, Reno has this to say. My message to any new arm wrestlers coming to the sport or people who are interested in trying it out is just, don't give up and have patience. It takes a long time to find what suits you best when it comes to training, or the style that you are going to use when arm wrestling on the table. Take your time and be smart. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Young Lions, where we showcase legends that are forged, champions that are born, and dreams that could quickly become reality. If you've got a suggestion on who to feature next, be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, a big shout out to the wonderful Armians and Finger folk, and anybody watching until this point, I greatly appreciate it. Arm Historian, out.